Good morning. It's Friday. How are we girls? Good morning Adele. Good morning Lisa. Hello Nicola. Good morning Instagram. So I've got a newbie this morning. A newbie and a sale item to show you this morning girls. Look at this little beauty. Morning Lynn. Morning Rebecca. How are you feeling Lisa? Are you on the mend now? Good morning Betty. Good morning Louise. Bleary eyed again this morning girls. <laughs> I can't tell you. Good morning Joy. Morning Kate. Morning Adele. As much as I didn't want to, I went to the gym last night and I'm aching from head to toe. Good morning, Nicola. It is Friday. Happy Friday indeed. Bonjour. <laughs> Good morning, Lorraine. How are you? Hi, Karen. Hi, Estelle. So, little newbie, little cheeky newbie this morning, girls. Leopard print, as you know, is bang on trend for this season. Oh, your, your dialysis today, Bonita. Are you popping into the boutique after? As Lisa pointed out the other day, we've got a um, half price sale on in the boutique at Armthorpe. So it's been very busy there this weekend. It's been great. We've got lots of little discounts. Sorry, Insta, let me just try and... I've got a new stand and it's kind of got a mind of its own. It keeps moving. <coughs> so Armthorpe Boutique has a 50% off sale going all week. I'm not quite sure how long that's running for. There is lots of sale items on the website as well, girls. So if you're not local to the boutique and you can't get in there, there is lots and lots of goodies to be had on the website. Good morning, Lee. I'm all right. It's Friday. It's the weekend. It's almost upon us. I've got today and then I've got a couple of days off. Um, so I'm going to get a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit, of my leg tattooed tomorrow and then it's done i'm holding this leg and it's this leg <laughs> it's all finished then i've had all my mandala done so this leg will be finished finally um so but it's here <laughs> right under my bum cheek Ugh. so i'm not looking forward to that tomorrow but it should only take an hour or so because there's only the the tiniest bit all this is done i had this done a couple of um weeks ago about a month and a half ago so all inside here and all up here to like my bikini line is all done that was not nice <laughs> the inside here is very lightly dotted let me tell you so she got all that done last time i've had all of this done all of the back done so there is literally just this little bit to do i got alive hello janet how are you so I'm going to show you a little, well, uh, not so little, it's gorgeous item from the sale online this morning. Good morning, Leslie. But just to let you know that there is 50% off in the boutique. So if you are lucky enough to be able to travel um, or you're local to us, do pop in and say hello to Kaz. There is lots on the rails in Anthorpe and everything is half price. Apart from accessories, um, it would have been a bit of a nightmare to try and strip everything off the shelves. So the accessories are excluded, but all the hanging clothes are included. Everything's 50% off. So this has gone on the website this morning. This is beautiful. Beautiful. It's called the Vienna and I wanted to burst into Ultravox R Vienna <laughs> and I almost put on the heading R Vienna and I thought some ladies might not get that. <laughs> but yes, if you're old enough to remember the Ultravox song Vienna, then you will know what I'm talking about. If not, you have no clue. This one is leopard print. It comes in lots of different colorways. It is fabulous. These are all the different colors. She says bending down and aching because I went to the gym last night and Lee is an absolute monster in the gym. Will you be getting what the gym? I don't know about that. I didn't realize it had sold out. No, not in a smaller size. They all come in the standard size, which is like 14, 16, up to a 24. But uh, we might be restocking that, but it will definitely be in the same size, not in smaller. They just, I mean, everybody wears them as an oversized now. Nobody really wears fitted t-shirts anymore. Um, so it's fine on me and I'm a 16, but it does go right up to a size 24. Um, and it's just nice and oversized on me. I didn't keep that one. It went to the boutique. Um... I did, however, keep the Rolling Stones one and I absolutely love it underneath my Shelly blazer. So these are the colours. Gorgeous. So you've got this gorgeous mocha colourway and it's the strap, the corners and the handles that are different colours uh, in some of them. And then in others, it's a completely different pattern. So that's the black corners with the black leopard print. So you can see there, that's the mocha, that's the black. <clears throat> then you've got the grey in this one 
So you've got the grey print and the grey handles. Then you've got the black. Lots of fabulous colours. Now, obviously, where did I see the other black? There, look. You've got two with black handles. That's right. But one's got the black print, one's got the brown print. So they've both got black accents, like the corners, the handles and the cross body strap. But you're different in the body. That's what I was saying when some of them, it's just the accents. It's the like the handles and the corners that might be the same colour, but the bulk of the body. You think I'm what? For me getting married, bless you. Excited, Mandy. So you can see they're very, very different through the body. That one is very similar through the body, but the um, the handles are different. So do you know when the shell? No, I mean, people ask me all the time about restocks and new stocks. I don't deal with that side at all, Lynn. I can't answer any questions on restocks or new items because that's Lisa's domain. She does all the buying and the restocking. The only thing I can, I can suggest that you do is sign up for a restock notification. When it comes in, you'll be pinged to let you know that it's back in stock. It'll have been ordered almost instantaneously. It depends whether they've got them in at the warehouse or whether they have to have them made again for Lisa or if she's requested a different size, then obviously they take at least a fortnight to be made. So it depends on a lot of factors. Um, so basically sign up, add your email, and as soon as they come in, they'll let you know. If we get another legs fully done, Sally, I would love a tattoo. Yes. I've already got an idea about the other leg. I've started on the other leg. I have a humongous Tutankhamun from here to here already and a sphinx cat. I think I've told the story about the sphinx cat head. Uh, me and my friend went and had matching ones and she's her cat's got green eyes, my cat's got blue eyes because she's got green eyes, I've got blue eyes. So we both had this beautiful sphinx head but we had it in memory of a husband who committed suicide. He sadly passed away about a month before we went to this. We'd, be, we'd had this tattoo convention planned for such a long time um, and we're both obsessed with tattoos. She's covered as well. Probably loads more than what I've got to be honest with you. Um, so I said to, she didn't want to go and I said to her, we need to go, we need to just go. So we went and when we got there, there were, um, I don't know what she was. I think she was Italian tattoo artist and she'd got some free space. So, um, we suggested having matching sphinxes in memory of Ben, um, her husband, a late husband, and we did it. And I'm so glad we did. And I barely speak to her anymore. COVID, change of job, one thing or another. But you know what? Every time I look at my leg, I think about her and I think about Ben as well. So it was a lovely thing to do. So the point I'm making is, yeah, it's really nice. I've already started an Egyptian theme on this leg. Now, the girl who's doing my dot work, her partner is a, a realism like pro and she is doing the realism on my other leg. But I, I actually had an appointment booked with her and I got COVID, so I couldn't go. I could have gone, but I didn't want to give it to them all. They said that I could, you know, it were up to me. Plus, I didn't feel very well. So the last thing you want to do is go through a lot of tattoo pain when you're not well. So I had to cancel that. She's that popular. I couldn't get in again till the middle of December. So she's starting my realism leg in December. So I've got one book for December, one book for January. It seems like forever away, doesn't it? But honestly, when you find a good tattoo artist, they're booked up for months in advance. So I've got a session booked in December with her now. I, I booked the one in... June I think it was and I couldn't get in again till December so that was, should have been my second sitting but because I got Covid I had to cancel that one and then obviously December so yes I've already started planning she's already sent me the full sleeve that she's made up ready it's amazing it's going to look fabulous I'm not looking forward to the pain because I hate it hate having tattoos but I love the way they look so that's the tan in this one as well so you've got lots of different colors some are similar colors as you can see that one is similar to that one in the color pattern way on the body there but the handles are very very different so make sure you add the correct one to your basket the mocha is gorgeous, quite neutral, goes with absolutely everything, but it depends on your colourways, it depends, uh, I know Janine, I can't wait, I just hate the pain, I hate the expense, and it takes too long. This leg I've been doing for five years, and it's finally going to be finished tomorrow. When I messaged Demi yesterday, I was like, whoop, whoop, finally, it's going to be done, and then I've got to start on this leg, and then I'm going to have my torso done, and then I'm going to have my back sorted out, so yeah, loads to do never gonna stop absolutely love them so black is with black then you've got the black with the tan 
or the black with the brown leopard print. You've got the grey with the grey. And then you've got that lovely um, rust there with the rusty coloured leopard print. So I'm going to show you inside one of the bags now. So these are fully adjustable on the body. I haven't got it to full length on the strap. So the, the, the holes go, I'm actually only one down from the shortest, but I will extend it to the longest and show you how much longer it will go. So it drops right down well past my hip when I extend it to the longest. N not sure what I missed, if anyone's going to first tattoo. God, it's it's merely I'm going to start my other leg. I'm finishing this leg tomorrow and then I'm going to start my other one. Uh, but I can't get until December. Hope we got it for my birthday. <laughs> Bless you. It's painful. I hate tattoo days. Absolutely hate them. I can't say it's something I enjoy at all. Lee laughs at me because he's like, you're covered, but you hate. I hate them. I hate them. I hate having them done. Absolutely. I've just had lion tattoo on my hand. Next one is my Amy Winehouse. Oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> they're a very... <coughs> Sorry, girls. The tattoos are very, very... They're a very personal thing, aren't they? Each to their own. Some love them, some hate them. I had a bloke really being awful to me the other day because of my tattoos. I don't really care what other people think and I don't really care what people think about my designs and what I choose. It's a personal thing and you do it for yourself. So that's the handle and it is long enough to go quite comfortably over the arm there if you want to wear it like that. You can also carry it like that. I think it probably, yeah, would just... And I am quite chunky up here, as you can see. Let's just tuck my arm in out of the way. It just goes over my shoulder as well. So the handles are quite a good length. So you can do that comfortably in the crook of your arm as well. You could just fold the handles down. Tattoo Sally, you look amazing. Thank you. Don't tell me that I'm a wee bit scared. I'm not going to lie. It's a needle. And they're sticking it in your skin and they're scraping it across your skin. It's horrendous. I hate it. I'd rather... I'd rather, I don't know, do something that I really hate than have a tattoo. It's awful. I mean, some people are good with pain, some people aren't. I think I am. And it's still, bleh, I hate it. I take the pain. I'll take the pain for you, Sally. It doesn't bother me. Really? So there you go. I hate it, Mel. Hate it. Yeah, my neck tattoo wasn't that painful, to be fair, but it's dot work. Can you see? There's no lines and shading. And somebody once said to me, it looks like eyes and a smiley face and I can never unsee it and I hate it because of that. <laughs> and I know she didn't mean any malice by it. She went, oh yeah, that middle bit there looks like a face. It looks like a clown, like a smiley face. Never unsee that now and I hate it because of it. <laughs> because it's the, it's the, she's right. It does, if you look, look, you can see eyes, a nose and a mouth and it's the ugliest face ever. Um, but yeah, I didn't see that, but now... I don't like it because of that, because that's all I see when I look at it. So let's unzip and look inside. So first of all, let's talk about the outside. You've got this little poppy bit, and then you've got that section there, which is quite roomy. So if you wanted to, you could put, does it look like a face to me? You could add a few more dots. Not a chance am I adding any more to my neck. Or down here, I would never do this area. I don't like it personally. Again, I don't like this area done on a lady. I, 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 I said I'd never get my neck done, but I did. Uh, you look beautiful, thank you. And then you've got the zippy bit at the back there, girls, which again, you can zip close and keep that secure. Then you've got this middle section, which has also got, you've got your, your strap in there, that's how it comes. You've got lots of zippy sections in this one as well. So you've got really deep sections there. You've got can you see how it goes right down? You've got a little zippy section there. You've got a good zip section to the middle as well in this one. So there's plenty of compartments. I'm having a neck lift next week. Wonder if it would lift. I'm having a neck lift next week. Wonder if it would lift your tattoo. Yes, of course it would. <laughs> yes, it would. Trust me. I've had, I've had a facelift. For you ladies that don't know, five years ago, I had a facelift. Hence the reason why my neck tattoo only comes to here rather than up under. Because if I ever decide to do a little bit more, because I am getting a bit loose again now around here, around the old jowls, um, it will lift my neck. 
Good luck with the neck lift. Again, the neck and facelift was far more brutal than I anticipated and I had a minimal. I didn't have a full facelift. I had what they call the R lift. It was designed by Dr. Riaz, who's local to Doncaster. And I went for that option because it was a min because I was only what, 40 6 47 at the time when i had it done and i just wanted i was starting to get a bit jowly here and i just wanted a lift <laughs> i look like i've been in a car crash if that's a minimally invasive facelift i'd hate to see a full-blown facelift didn't know that i'm a bit scared but excited yeah i couldn't even eat off a fork for five days couldn't open my mouth couldn't smile couldn't talk everything <laughs> everything hurt I'm beginning to think I might be a bit of a wuss with pain girls, but yes, I have got scars down and round. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't lie about what I've had done, but I did have it done because I felt a bit, I ate my, yes, well, I, it's starting to come back a bit, but I had a little bit, can you see? Only a little bit. Look, can you see the difference here when you pull up? Don't get me wrong, the results were great. I had to go back and have, have revision because he didn't do my neck properly. I die, I'm a wuss. I had it done awake. <laughs> that's that's for a whole other live if you're interested, girls, because I have some um, funny stories. Not horror stories. I weren't traumatised by it. It was hilarious, to be fair. Um, I could smell my flesh burning. It smelled like bacon cooking. <laughs> anyway, we won't talk about that because some of you might be having breakfast. But yes, I have had a very minimally invasive. I'm having it under local. There you go. You'll be fine. Don't be scared about that, Debbie, because they numb you really, really well. You don't feel any pain. I giggled all the way through it talking to the nurse. It was Christmas Eve. <laughs> so we were talking about Christmas. And I'd actually stupidly booked to go out for Christmas dinner the day after. It didn't happen. I didn't go. Because they tell you, it's fine. You'll be up and about and acting as normal day after. I wasn't. It took, I, I, at the time I worked at the sunbed shop and I'd booked two weeks off work. It took three weeks for me to look like I could go out in public. But I do swell really bad when I ever have anything done. But yeah, my mum had her lower eyes done and it looked like she'd what, been tortured. <sighs> Surgery is not for the faint-hearted girls, but as you know, I'm not scared of anything really. So let's get back to the bag. If anybody wants to know anything about my facelift, I can do I can do a live on that and we can talk about it all day long. I don't hold anything back and I'm not like secretive about what I have done. Um, I'm quite open about anything I have done. Some people hate me for it. Some people are inquisitive. Some people go out and get stuff done. It's entirely up to you. Again, it's a very personal thing. So the strap comes inside the bag, girls. And you've on this side... You've got another two compartments. So loads of separate compartments in this bag and it's like a little TARDIS. So there's plenty of room in this one. So zippy to the back, clippy to the front, short handles, long handle. I'll do a live. You know, like maybe one morning when Lisa's not doing the live lounge with me, I'll sit with a cuppa and you can ask me anything. Ask me anything, girls, about my surgeries or about like, I have Botox and filler as well. I'm not, I'm not like, I don't lie about the stuff that I have done. I have so much hate. People are like, you're not 52. I am, but I have had treatments. So maybe I do look a bit better. And maybe people think I lie about my age or I use filters all the time, which I do on TikTok. I love the bold glamour filter. I had some hate the other day. So I posted a picture of myself without a filter and put, this is me. I don't think I look bad for 52. And yes, I have worked on and I'm not like, I don't deny it. I don't go, oh, I'm all natural there's nothing natural about me i have my lips my cheeks my chin botox i had my botox again the other day look my wrinkles have disappeared i like it it's what i do how much are the bags these are 24.99 and they're called the vienna so that was the bags and then i wanted to show you the vintage clara the duster jacket vintage clara these have gone in the sale they were 32 pounds they've now gone down Yes, Luna, you had a facelift. I did. Um, five, six years ago now. I'm probably ready for it doing again. And I will have it done again, girls. Hence the reason, the reason we got talking about it. Somebody asked the question, do you think it would change your neck tattoo? That's why I had it done lower down. So that when I do have a bit more of a lift, look, it will take it where it should have been originally, under my chin. Forward thinking. So the vintage Clara Duster was 32 pounds 
it's now 16.99 absolutely love this duster coat it is super that's the reason i dressed in black this morning girls because i wanted to pop this on over the top to show you this is a really nice outfit so i've got the mag black magic trousers on the black in the lolita and then this gorgeous duster has gone down to 16.99 so 14.22 in size it's called the vintage clara duster if you put vintage clara in the website all the range of it will come up for you not everything's gone in the sale but the duster jacket as it's 14.22 in size and we've got some amazing colors let me just pop one of the other colors on for you in fact i'll pop all the colors on for you if you want me to so the bag's just gone on as well this morning i'll just quickly show you that before i take it off because it's easy to try the coats on when i've not got the bag on but that's gone on this morning it's called the vienna it should be at the top of the website what did your mum say about the surgery? My mum didn't have the surgery. It's got nothing to do with my mum, really, but she didn't say anything. She doesn't comment on anything that I do because I'm an adult and I can literally do what I want. And she didn't pay for it, so that's fine. But yeah, she didn't have the facelift. My mum, I mean, comes from a totally different generation and she kind of, she's neither in nor the, there on what I do, but you know, when I first started having my tattoos, she weren't overly impressed. But she's, again, learnt to live with my choices. Because they are my choices. So this is the green. This one's got... Has it got pockets? No, I thought it had, actually. But it hasn't. But it's just a really, really lovely... The green is gorgeous, isn't it? Just a lovely throw over. If you like to be a bit more covered up, this will go over a dress. We do have a matching dress for this one. But it'll go over a dress. It'll go over, like, what I've got on today... The vest and the magic trousers it would look lovely over the sunset nights trousers as well comes in quite a few different colors i think the only color that's not available is black all the other colors are still available and we do have some of the colors in the duster we do have a dress to match as well so it's nice and long in the arm you've got that lovely print running all the way through it's a really good length this one it's kind of a maxi length it does look super with the dress that we've got that's got like a stretchy strap and that looks really really nice underneath it so if you like the dress but you put off by obviously not having your arms covered up this duster jacket is is a great way of wearing something that's got sleeves very tempted by the khaki khaki would look gorgeous on you janine the green and it, again you can wear this right into the autumn it's nice and lightweight i am obsessed with folding sleeves i never wear anything full length it's really nice rolled up but you can wear it down if you want to this would look really nice with a plain polo neck underneath it just started with fillers love the results me too and can see it becoming a tad addictive. It is indeed. You do, you Sally. Thank you, my darling. Looking amazing. I have cheek fillers. You know, when I lost all that weight, I lost all the volume in my face. And my face looked really drawn and gaunt. That's why I started having cheek fillers. No other reason. When I lost a load of weight in my face very quickly when me and John divorced. Not by choice, again. <laughs> before you come at me. Um... I, I, I wanted cheek filler just to plump up my cheeks a little bit because the worst thing you can do when you get older is lose a load of weight because it really does tell on your face. So I had a little bit, I only have it in the apples of my cheeks, a little bit there just to fill my cheeks back out. I've put weight back on, so naturally I filled my cheeks back out. But then to balance my face, she suggested that I had a little bit of chin filler and that makes an amazing amount of difference i can't tell you like elongates your face and completely changes the shape of your face apparently the most sought after face shape shape the one that people like think they consider beautiful is heart shaped so if you have a little bit of filler in your chin it makes you your face more can you see more when i look back at old pictures of myself with a because literally that is an extension of my chin. My chin was more square. My face was more square. When you have a little bit of filler in the end of the chin, it brings it down and makes it, slims it down and makes it more heart-shaped. So it slimmed down the bottom of my face and plumped out the middle of my face and made my face more aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> apparently. I don't know, but I trust my aesthetics practitioner with my life. She's fabulous. So if she suggests something, I go, okay because she knows what she's talking about so she's like i think you're absolutely gorgeous but if you're asking me i would pop a little bit of filler there a little bit of filler there botox skin boosters i'm like do what you want girl my face is yours and honestly she looks after me and i'm quite happy with everything she does i say thank you janine but apparently in the world of aesthetics 
that shaped face is aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> I'm like, okay, do what you need to do. Take my money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the khaki Janine, and yes, you need it. $16.99, but as you know, there is no returns on sale items. So check the sizing, check the measurements on the Vintage Clara Duster because there is no return on this one, but it's just $16.99 now. Um, and again, if you just type in Vintage Clara, everything in this range will come up. We've got a lovely, like, um, smock type dress in this print we've got the one with the straps that, that looks lovely underneath this duster jacket some of the items have gone in the sale some haven't but this one has it's been reduced now and it's just 16.99 but there is like i say no returns on sale items because obviously they've, they've been discounted massively um you're gorgeous and real life oh thank you mandy see mandy speak see me close up with no filters anything aren't you mandy <laughs> so thank you i'll give you that tenor i owe you later that's it this morning girls we always go off topic don't we always but you see i i don't care if somebody i'm late is the fabric stretchy no lisa it's not it is let me tell you viscose it's a hundred percent viscose it's super soft don't want to go to work now minutes to take who has a meeting oh no lee it's friday though vienna bag bought can't stop what's that singing our vienna there you go if you're old enough, you'll remember Ultravox. If you're not, I apologise. But it's a classic uh, Vienna. Yes, it's a classic Ultravox. Back in the days, back in the 80s, girls loved a bit of Ultravox. So, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. Yes, you win. Uh, sorry, Mandy. I'm sorry for the trauma, but you've definitely seen me close up. Does Botox get rid of or help with a double chin? Mm. <sighs> Botox can do many different things. Um... Again, I'm not an aesthetics uh, practitioner, but I do know my stuff because I've been having stuff like that for years. Um, if you're wanting to get rid of a double chin, you can have um, fat dissolving injections. Never had them myself. Don't know whether they work or not. I've seen some results um, on pictures, but you, I don't know whether you can ever trust pictures of befores and afters because they can be doctored, can't they? The best thing to do is pick somebody local to you that you trust... I trust Lynn with my life. I really do. She's absolutely amazing. She's based... Sorry, girls. That's my daughter ringing. She's based in Mexborough and I travel to see her. It's about 40 minutes away from where I am in Doncaster, but I, I, I wouldn't go to anybody else. She's just so good. She knows my face. She knows her stuff. She's an advanced trainer um, and I trust her with my life. So anything she, she suggests or sometimes I say stuff and she'll go, you don't need it which I think is brilliant. So it's not about the money with Lynn. It's about making the best of your skin, your face. She knows her stuff. So I would get somebody, word of mouth is the best thing. Um, I met Lynn under the weirdest circumstances. I don't know if I've ever said, and if you're not interested, you can go. You can turn me off now. I've shown the clothes. Um, I sold my wedding and engagement ring when I divorced John and she bought them. I sold them on uh, a selling site in Doncaster and she came to pick them up and she was like, wow, you're gorgeous. Uh, and we got talking and she and I said, oh, what do you do for a living? And we instantly clicked and she said, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, an aesthetics um, trainer and a practitioner. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and that was like, what, two years ago? And I, I will never go to anybody else now. She's fantastic. But yeah, that was a bit of a funny story. She came and bought my wedding and engagement ring um, when I divorced John and um, ended up, <laughs> I ended up, well, she ended up paying me in Botox and filler. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. So yeah, we've been really good mates ever since. And I do consider her to be a friend now, not, not just my aesthetics practitioner, but she's the most down to earth, lovely lady I think you'd ever, ever meet. And she knows her stuff. So that's it, girls, this morning. Go and buy the Vienna. Sing the song all day. Go and buy the Vintage Clara Duster. It's now reduced. Uh, obviously, no returns on sale items. It's Friday. Have an amazing day. I'll be back at one o'clock. So until then, have a fabulous day, girls. See you soon.